Hello, little friends. I'm Princess Julia. Another Halloween is coming. I don't know whether you believe in mysterious things or not. I didn't believe in those mysterious things until I had to experience them by myself. It's not a joyful experience, but it's not too bad either. If you want to know what happened, just listen to today's story with Woe of Fairy Tales. Julia had never believed in mysterious stories. She even found them absurd. Therefore, Halloween was the most boring day with her. On this day, people all disguised themselves as ridiculous things and made their living space become gloomy. Can you see that scarecrow? My mother said it had to everyone watch the view huh? from bad guys. If we sabotage huh? it, we will be in great trouble immediately. Listening so, Julia, huh? without hesitation, huh? took its hat down and trampled on it. The kids were really shocked while they see this. Suddenly, Julia stumbled over a jack-o'-lantern. Being too angry, she kicked it so hard that the lantern broke down into pieces, making her be knocked out far away. Julia tried to open her eyes after a shock, <laughs> then she saw a man staring at her. Thinking that he was a bad guy, she ran away and asked for the help of a guard who was going on patrol. You! Quickly <laughs> capture him! Huh? <laughs> you dare to ignore me? I'm Julia Princess! I order you to capture that man immediately! Normal people huh? will never hear what a soul is saying. What soul? I'm Princess Julia. If you dare to harm me, the king will never let up on you! Suddenly, the guard huh? kept on going, and he huh? walked through the princess, making her huh? astonished. Do you believe me now? I... I... No way! What's happening? It's just a nightmare. For sure it is. Huh? Oh no! I don't want to end up my life like this! <laughs> Actually, you haven't passed away yet. Hmm. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> when you broke my pumpkin lantern, the energy inside had affected you and made you stuck between the soul world and the human world. Your lantern? So you are Jack-O-Lantern in the Halloween story that people always told? <laughs> it's my honor to meet you, Your Highness. <laughs> so you are the bad crook? Neither heaven nor hell wanted to accept you. And you had to wander around with the coal of hell inside a ridiculous pumpkin? Hmm. Hmm. Huh? <sighs> Whatever you think. So now, what should I do to be back to normal again? Firstly, we need to make a new pumpkin lantern for not making the unaccepted soul like us get lost and vanish. You're unaccepted, and I'm stuck. Is that clear? Whatever. <coughs> when the lantern had been broken earlier, the bats took the chance and stole the coal of hell. We need a new pumpkin, then take the coal back. After that, we should find the chance to meet the Devil Lord and ask for his help. Hmm. The two together went to the cornfield to ask the Scarecrow. Oh, majestic Scarecrow, who is watching the field? The human left! Just wake up! I have something to ask! After he finished speaking, the Scarecrow immediately moved. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jack! A happy Halloween! 
What do you want from me? I have a problem. My lantern was broken. Can you give me another pumpkin? So annoying! I'm a princess. I don't have to ask anyone for anything. He's just a hmm. scarecrow! If you don't have the permission from the scarecrow, you will not be able to take any of the pumpkin. Why do you oh. come here with a princess? She just destroyed my hat! I won't give you any pumpkin! You think I need to beg you for a pumpkin? Princess, you caused this trouble. You'll have to take the responsibility. Please, huh? give her a chance to atone. How can we do to cool you off? It's alright. I want her to knit another straw hat for me by herself. I have to knit a hat for a humble scarecrow like you? <sighs> Although she didn't want, Princess Julia had no other choice <laughs> but to learn how to knit a straw hat. The straws were weird. They were so rough and continuously cut on Julia's hand, making her hands bleed. Huh? After <laughs> struggling with it for a while, the princess was finally able to knit a distorted straw hat. Maybe it's not good, but it's acceptable. <laughs> the scarecrow didn't want to make it more difficult for them after receiving the pumpkin they immediately left. They followed the direction that Jack had seen the bat flu. Then they stopped at an intersection. You guys want to find the coal of hell, right? Huh? Yes, if you know where it is, please tell us. I will tell you, but on one condition. You'll have to give me the two precious pearls that you have. Jack could find no pearls on his body. Suddenly, mm. he saw something sparkling from the princess. <laughs> huh? I won't give huh? it to anyone. This is my favorite hmm. pair of earrings. Hmm? Although she didn't want it, Julia still had to take out the pearls hmm? to give them to the black cat. Strangely, when the cat just touched the two pearls, they immediately disappeared, and the cat's eyes shone bright. Those bats are the servants of the old witch. She lives in a wooden house at the border of the forest. The two followed the instructions of the cat. Finally, they could reach the wooden house of the old witch. With the coal of hell, I will be able to create eternal flame, which can even burn the soul down. Till that huh? time, human huh? must be terrified huh? and kneel huh? on my foot. Now I have to go get some more ingredients from the huh? old forest. Right after the witch left, <laughs> Julia was so eager that she immediately entered the house to get the coal back. Suddenly, a trap which was made by mistletoe vines fell down on her, making her not be able to escape. A soul could never touch those vines. I guess Jack would come here and take the coal back, so huh? I decide not trap to capture him. I didn't <laughs> expect that I could capture a princess, but it's not so bad. I huh? just need a rat to test my flame. Huh? Look, how am I getting on? Oh yes, the scales of the lizard from Marshland. The eyes of the black cat. Finally, the coal of hell. <laughs> <laughs> now I will test the power of this flame. <laughs> 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 
Suddenly, Jack rushed there and took the flame away. Julia never expected that even when she had cost Jack many troubles, he still sacrificed everything to save her. She used all of her power, ignored all the pains to bend the mistletoe vines out until it's wide enough for her to squeeze through. <laughs> Julia rushed there and pushed her so hard into the hell flame. The flame grew strongly and swallowed her. After that, Julia tried by all means to extinguish the flame for Jack, but it didn't work at all. At that moment, the black cat quickly ran from nowhere to the stove and took the coal by its mouth. The cat immediately put the coal into the pumpkin, and the flame was also extinguished. Although the fire was put out, but Jack's soul was almost burned out. Jack, you are gradually vanishing. Why did you help me while well, I just brought all the troubles to you? <laughs> I've wandered around for so long. There will be no regrets when I vanish. This is the first time I can do a good thing. I'm really <laughs> happy for that. Just keep the pumpkin lantern. Go find Devil Lord, and he will be able to help you. Hmm. No, Jack, no! You can't vanish like that! It's all my fault! <laughs> it's all my fault! Right at that moment, the Devil Lord appeared and timely saved Jack. Therefore, he could keep his soul without being banished. Devil Lord! Why are you here? <laughs> Today, I go find you to have a little drink for Halloween. Then I got the whole story. It's so lucky that I came here in time. Why did you save me? Was it that I could do nothing good for you? That's true when you were alive, but after you passed away, people celebrated Halloween for ghosts and devils like us, so we are really grateful for that. It also can be said that you were the soul of this celebration. If you vanish, will Halloween be nonsense? Thank you so much! Can I ask you for one more thing? Mm. The princess woke up. She found herself inside her warm bedroom. Everyone in the palace was preparing for the Halloween. Everything had happened to her was just like a dream. Huh? <laughs> Suddenly, a cat appeared. Its eyes looked exactly like the pearls on her earrings. Even the scarecrow was wearing the <laughs> straw hat that she had made by herself. Mom, is Jack o Lantern real? If he really exists, where is he now? Will he come here to celebrate Halloween with us? Of course huh? Jack is real. And now, maybe he's having a feast with the Devil Lord. <laughs> wow, fairy tales.